Okay, so we'll start here with the recap. This is the see a new line, which is brand new, playing with the shimmer, which are shown here on the line diagram. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 68, See a New. We just heard our latest brand new ending, and we are showing how we have added what we call the See a New line, which is played by Bassoon. So when we look at the effect of the See a New line on the energy diagram alone, we can see that it's shaping itself up, down, up, flat, and up. And it plays very nicely with the... Uh, Plays very nicely with the there. That's what it looks like when it's with the uh, the shimmer. Uh, the overall diagram again when you add tempo, dissonance, cadence, breath, shimmer, uh, you get this, which is our new final version. And nevertheless, there's still a noticeable shaping. Watch here. Look how flat this is here. And then we pop in the. Uh, the bassoon melody and we get a nice arc round there and then we uh, I think that's the most visible area where it happens nope it, over here too you can see this turns into a more rounded arc so it's really uh, adding a lot to the to the feel of the piece and um, when we entered today when we began our composition um, we really felt we really felt that there was a another me melodic line to be expressed, and that's what we spent the bulk of today on was adding that what we call C anew, which was today's theme. Um, so we kept working with the composition. We added that line as discussed. It is uh, we experimented with what timbres to use. We tried. We started with piano. It's down here now this line here, right here, uh, bassoon. Uh, we tried several other things, but bassoon at the high register came out really great. Da, 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 da. And we soloed it and we made a new score recording and then we went and started working with our animation, which is this thing. And we, uh, we ended up driving the internals with uh, only the um, only the combination of C and shimmer. What we did, however, to differentiate them visually is they're being driven at different different oscillation rates. The oscillation rate here is 0.8, and that's 0.2. So we're still getting that mandala breathing effect when they're not moving. But when they start animating, it really adds to it delightfully. So what we're going to do is play for you this uh, new updated version of Improvisation 3. And we'll focus on the animation here. And here we go.
concludes today's stream. Wow, we like adding that line. And there's some just evocative, we could feel it when we would listen to it, but to be able to kind of call it out. And then it was especially pleasing and surprising that putting a bassoon in there had just enough sustain in the notes to to carry it on the slow melodies. Whereas um, marimbas and ob oboe was way too fluttery and uh, clarinet, they just, they didn't carry the sustain. Um, so our ideas for next time are to share the work to date. Uh, we do have some thoughts about making composite videos and stuff and our good old friend to be determined. A shout out to Yashwani who showed up again today and to Mr. Spatz. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>